journey. In fact, uh, Carrie's been giving lessons here. Uh, she's been having clinics here. She does an outstanding job. And uh, so why don't you give her an opportunity to show what she can do before we criticize her. And Bernie is also a very good person to be here. I, mean, I agree with that. I agree that they are both very, very qualified. But is Doug qualified? I'm not going to talk about personnel. Okay. Um, but I will talk about uh, working with them to make this success. Okay, well, um, first I'll talk about um, I'll talk about what actually happened with um, the legends and the debacle that we've had the last 18 months. Uh, would you all consider it a debacle? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have as well. So see, we agree on something right away. Yeah. Um, what happened? And I brought some paperwork for you so that you would all see. What happened was a council member. Uh, wanted me to put in Doug Nist right away as the director. And I knew where Doug came from, and I felt that Doug needed a little more time working on the budget. And so I decided not to put him in as the official director. I wanted him to be interim director. Do you all remember that? None of you remember that. Okay, so I wanted Doug to be interim director so he had the opportunity to work with our budget director so I would make sure he's up to speed before we let him go. And the council member decided that they didn't like that, that they wanted him as the director no matter what. Um, I disagreed with that. And so uh, we worked with him a little bit until they decided they were gonna put major pressure on us to hire him officially, uh, which we did. And, but we were very concerned about him as our leader of the Parks Department because it's not only of our Parks Department, it's also the Rec Center, it's also the Legends. That's a big job, and you need to make sure someone can handle it. Um, so Council really uh, decided that they wanted him in as Parks Director. We did that. Then they decided that they wanted to control the hire and fire of the Parks Director. Do you all remember that? Nobody remembers that. Okay, so they created legislation, which I vetoed, um, and I have the letter here that I wrote when I vetoed it because the mayor should be in charge of the parks director, period. But instead, uh, in this letter, they wrote out the mayor in every paragraph and put in council, every paragraph. And if you'd like to see it, I have two copies, and I'll be happy to let you see that. And why I vetoed it, so the letter is right on top, so you can see why I vetoed it, which didn't stand, and I knew it wouldn't stand. So, um, so anyway, uh, at that point, uh, council and the count, uh, the park board members were then in charge of the parks department and the legends and the rec center, and so we all believed that for about 18 months, and then sometime in January this year. The law director stood up and said, nothing has changed. The mayor's in charge.